If you have a thatch problem, but you don't have a special dethatching rake, then chances are pretty much 100% that you're not going to put a dent into your thatch problem by picking out your regular garden rake from the garage. It's pretty much not even going to make a dent in the problem. Now, if you happen to have a groundskeeper rake or a groundskeeper two rake, then that might make a slight improvement over a regular garden rake, but most people don't have those either. The thing is, no rake really works as good as a dethatching rake for getting thatch up off the ground, or at least scoring it to, to make it so that it can decompose. With a regular garden rake, the tines are all flexible and they bend left and right and forward and backwards. There is no possible way that you can be aggressive enough with a regular garden rake to be able to scrape the thatch, score it, let alone rip it off the ground. If you were to take a look at a power rake or a scarifier, the blades are almost like knives ripping into the ground. They're very, very strong. And a dethatching rake, although you have to manually do it yourself, does the same thing. The actual tines on a dethatching rake are made so that they don't bend back and forth at all, like zero amount of bending. They will flex side to side, barely, but only if you really try to do it. Because of the way that they're made, they will easily dig into the thatch, and then the little wings off to the side of these tines will actually pull some of that thatch that it does rip up to the surface of your grass. Now, although buying a thatch rake is just another thing to buy, another thing to own, they are still significantly cheaper than purchasing an electric dethatcher or renting a uh, powered scarifier from your local tool rental place. It's a long handled tool. You've probably got a ton of them in your garage already. Not to mention the fact that they are very tiring to use, but if you use them, it's a pretty good workout. It's a lot better for you physically than grabbing an electric dethatcher and slowly walking across your lawn. Now, for those of you people who don't really have a true thatch problem, a thatch is kind of that fibrous layer of woody material from like stems and rhizomes and root systems, not necessarily the grass clippings. If you only have a dead grass clipping debris problem on the surface of your lawn, then possibly using a garden rake, just a regular standard garden rake can work, but it's going to work very inefficiently. You don't need to rip through fibrous layers if it's just old dead grass clippings, but regular garden Garden rakes are pretty good for dragging larger things like pine needles and leaves. When it gets down to the smaller things like grass clippings, you'll really operate much more efficiently if you use something like a groundskeeper rake or a thatch rake. A thatch rake can also pull dead grass clippings off of the surface of your soil, and it's actually a lot easier than ripping into the thatch itself. If you're not actually trying to remove the grass clippings from the ground, then a regular garden rake can still at least scrape the ground enough to move the grass clippings around to introduce some new airflow into the soil and maintain the aerobic environment that your soil needs to stay healthy. Generally speaking, a thatch rake might be overkill for someone with just a surface debris issue, but it's still gonna be the most efficient way of clearing the debris off of your lawn, so long as you got the muscle and the energy to get the job done. Now, if you actually have thatch, like real, true thatch in the lawn below the surface debris, then make sure to watch this video. It's like probably right up here in the sun right now. I made an entire video about how to actually tend to an excessively thick thatch layer, how to shrink it over time. In that video, I never once mentioned a regular garden rake, and that's for good reason, because it's not the right tool to get the job done.